Hi there, I'm Tara Kessner. Welcome to this next level yoga class. Today we are slowing it down a bit. It's going to be a slow flow class. You don't need any props, just need some comfy clothes and you and a mat. So get that all together. Now if you like this class, I would be eternally grateful if you would subscribe to the channel by clicking that little red box down there somewhere. Maybe give it a thumbs up, maybe make a comment. All of that helps us grow the channel on the platform and is absolutely free to you. So let's get started. Find a comfortable way to sit. Kind of wiggle yourself in, take a nice slow breath in and as you exhale, close down your eyes. And do a quick little scan of your body and notice where it is that you feel the breath most prominently. Now maybe it's in your nose, maybe it's in your throat, for me it's my ribs. And wherever that place is, take a breath and just land your attention there. Feel the breath come in. And feel the breath go out. And start to bring your awareness into your body. And we're going to take three slow breaths together. So when you're ready, blow all the air out. Begin to inhale. Here we go. Pause at the top of that inhale, and then exhale through the mouth. Two more just like that. Inhale. And pause. And exhale, let it go. One more of those. Inhale. And exhale. As you finish that breath, go ahead and open your eyes. Reach your hands back, and with an inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Reach up there, interlace the fingers together, and bring the hands behind the head. Lift the head up, and draw a breath in here, and as you exhale, lean to your left. Inhale back up to the center, and on the exhale, lean to your right. Inhale back up to the center. Exhale back over to the left. This time drop your hand down to the ground. Look up, open up, point that elbow up and back. Breath in here. And as you exhale, start to point your elbow forward. Begin to look down at the ground. Find some stretch in the upper back. And we'll bring it back. Up to the center, hands once again to the back of the head. Look up with your exhale, lean to your right, drop your hand down. Look up at your elbow and begin to point it at the ceiling up and back. Draw a slow breath in. And with the exhale, begin to bring that elbow forward, look down. And keep moving that elbow until you find some stretch in your back. And take a breath there. And we'll bring it back up to the top. Bring the hand back behind the head. Lift the chin, open up through the elbows. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lower chin towards chest. Let your elbows be heavy as they drop down. Let the hands just be a heavy weight on the back of the head. Slowly press the head into the hands, sit up tall, open up the elbows, lift the chin, one last breath here. As you exhale, drop your left hand down behind you, bring your right hand across your body, rest it on your knee, sit up tall as you look around behind you. Seated twist. When you exhale, bring it back through the front and take it over to the other side. 
Right hand behind, left hand across, sit up tall. Look around behind you, supporting that back shoulder with your back hand. And we'll bring it back to the front. And the shoulders a little roll and let's come on over to all fours. Little cat cow, so wag out the tail, drop the belly, lift the face, breath in. Exhale, tuck your tail, round your back, draw your chin towards your chest. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. One more. Inhale to cow. And exhale, round it into cat stretch. And come to a nice flat back, a neutral spine. Tuck your toes under, lift your knees up, drop your head downward, facing dog. The first one is always rough. So bend your knees and pedal your heels and do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself. And shake out the head a little and then we'll start to shuffle the feet towards the wrists, finding our way to a ragdoll pose, letting the belly rest on the tops of the thighs, dropping your head, swaying from side to side is optional. Just let your upper body spill over your legs. So in this class, we're going to move from one pose to the next. Not staying in any, any one too long, but also not rushing. So bring your hands up onto your knees. Push your body off your legs. Tuck your tail under. And slowly bring yourself up to standing, lifting your elbows up, rolling them back and down, swing your arms behind you and with an inhale reach up, look up, get really tall, bend your knees, turn your palms out and with an exhale swan dive down to the ground. Inhale up, starting to move with the breath and exhale down. One more, inhale sweep it up. Exhale, dive it down. Pausing here. Let's take a halfway lift. Slide the hands up the fronts of the shins as you flatten out your back and straighten out your legs. Hands might slide all the way up here if that's necessary. Whatever it takes. And re-bend the knees. Slide back into that forward fold, dropping your head. With the inhale, bring it up. Rise up. On the exhale, dive it down. Inhale to that halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. One more time. Inhale, rise up to standing. Exhale, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Pausing here, walk your fingertips out in front of you. Lift your left leg up behind you. Maybe roll the ankle around a few times. And then gently bend your standing knee. Lower your back foot down. Lower that back knee to the mat. Let's bring the foot forward a bit so that with this, you can stack the knee right over the ankle. Shift around until you can Get your femur bones set in the hip sockets and then rise up. Reach the arms up overhead. Gentle bend in the elbow, gaze is level, chin is level with the floor. Take one breath here. Now your right arm, drop it down. Reach your left arm straight out from your chest, look to the right. Option to swing that arm up behind you or rest it on your hip. Take one breath here. From there, we'll swing that hand back out in front. Reach both arms back up. This time, look up through the fingertips. Option to reach back if it feels good. Take a breath. And then we'll float the hands down to the ground. Tuck the back toe under. Lift up the back knee. Drag the front foot back to downward facing dog. 
Pedal out the heels, shake out the head. And then plank. Start to bring the shoulders forward up and over the wrists. Press through your heels. Look out beyond your mat. Push the ground away. Think of this as a stretch instead of work. Pushing through the heels. Take one breath. And with your exhale, lower yourself on down to the mat. No flopping. Untuck your toes. Slide your hands out beside your mat in line with your chest. And with an inhale, cobra pose with wide hands. Peel the chest up off the mat. On the exhale, lower it down. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Up you go. Exhale it down. Bring your hands onto the mat. Push yourself up. Walk your knees up under you. Take them wide. And begin to settle hips towards heels. Coming down onto the forearms. Child's pose. If your legs are still a little tight, keep the hips up a bit. If you feel okay, sink hips down onto heels. You can drop your head. You can stack up some fists. Whatever feels good. And start to make your way back to all fours. Bring your knees back under you. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. And this time, gently press into the heels. And then begin to shuffle the feet up to the top. Halfway lift when you get there at your own pace. Just warming up the backs of the legs, reaching out long in the spine, and bring it back to a forward fold. Walk your fingertips out in front of your toes. Set yourself on your fingertips. This time, we'll lift the Right leg up behind us, roll the ankle around a few times. Bend the front knee, drop the back toe down, then bend the back knee. Help that front foot forward, shift around until you can find something you can work with, and then come on up. Reaching up, looking straight ahead, taking a breath. Your left hand, drop it down. Your right hand, reach it out. Look to the left. Option to swing that hand up behind you. And then bring the hands back out in front. When you're ready, lift the hands up overhead. Lift the gaze. Take one breath here. And then bring it on down. Tuck your back toe under, lift up your back knee. You're going to step it to downward facing dog one more time. Just pausing here to take one breath, really pushing the ground away with the hands, lifting the tailbone to the sky. And then when you're ready, you're going to walk it up to the top of the mat. When you get there, bring your hands up onto your knees, sit your butt back. Push your body off your legs, swing your tailbone under, and round roll your way up to standing. Rolling the shoulders up, back, down, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Feet are going to be hip distance apart. Turn the palms out. Classic mountain pose. I like to rock in my feet here and just kind of wake up the toes and the soles of the feet. Start to move into a little bit longer sequence. Again, moving. Slowly, it's not a full-on flow class, one breath, one movement, but it's also not a power class where we would hold it for three to five breaths. A little in between. Let's begin by reaching the arms up overhead. Mountain pose extended. Take a breath. Press the palms together, bend the knees, and bring the hands all the way down the center line, all the way to the floor, and pause. Drop your head. Forward fold. From here, we'll take a halfway lift again. Inhale, slide the hands up the shins. And then exhale, bring it down. 
steady yourself with your hands. Step it back to downward facing dog. And pause here. We'll start with the left leg. So lift the left leg up behind you, any height that feels good. Option to bend the knee and look under the left arm, but if that's too intense, just skip it. And then we'll square the hips back, bring the knee in towards the chest, look beyond your mat, hinge forward as if you're in plank pose in the arms and keep reaching your knee through your arms, engaging the core. Take one breath. And then we'll gently kick back up and out of that, dropping your head, kicking your foot up, three-legged dog. Press into that right heel. Now swing the knee in. Step the foot onto the mat and spin the back foot flat, taking up the width of your mat. And when you're ready, begin to stand up. Gently swinging the arms forward and back, swinging them back behind you, and then reach out to the side, reach up, Look up, warrior one, sinking into that front knee, gentle bend in the elbow, relax the shoulders, one breath here. And as you exhale, ah, let your hands separate. Let them drift away from one another, opening up across the horizontal line of the chest. And then we'll bring it back in. Press the palms together, hook the thumbs. Interlace all the fingers, lift up, 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 getting lots of length on the side of the body, and then hinge forward at your waist and pause your right elbow. Begin to bring it down and towards your front knee. It doesn't have to get to the front knee. In fact, I don't want you to. Look to the left and imagine I'm pulling your head off your body, keeping you long in your spine. And then slowly. Start to stand back up, reaching back up, keeping the hands together. We're going to move the hands back, 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 back. Pause, leveraging open the vertical line of the torso. And then release your hands, bring them down and behind you, hook your index fingers together. Roll your shoulders up, back and down, put some weight into your back foot, look up and just relax your shoulders. Now lift your head, look straight ahead. Begin to squeeze the shoulder blades together as you hinge forward, pressing the chest through the fronts of the shoulders, opening up the pecs. Pause here, bring yourself back to vertical, straighten out your front leg. Bring your hands to the fronts of your hips and hold your hips back as you hinge forward at the waist with a nice flat back. Pyramid pose, the engagement is in the back of this front leg. So gently walk your hands, no pressure on the knee, down, keeping the back flat. You don't want to round here. And pause here just a little longer, just to give the hamstring a moment. And slowly bring it on up. Look to your right, turn to your right. And take your feet wide. All toes are pointed at the long edge of the mat. Five point star, reach up. The fifth point is your head. It took me a really long time to figure that out, which I'm slightly embarrassed to admit. Reach up tall, stretch out through all directions, breath in here. And with your exhale, bring your hands down onto your thighs, sit your hips back, wiggle your toes a little to keep the weight in your heels, coming in to a horse squat. Trying to get the thighs as close as you can to parallel to the floor. And then let's get out of that because frankly it's not very comfortable. Then we'll reach back up, reach for the ceiling with a gentle inhale, a soft bend in the knees. As you exhale, let your hands float forward and come all the way down to the ground. And drop your head, bend your knees, Bend your elbows, get a little lower to the ground, and then with an inhale, straighten out the legs, straighten out the arms, lift the face to flatten the back. And then exhale, do that again. Bend elbows, knees, get low. And inhale up, it's a halfway lift with wide legs. One more time, blow it out, get low. And then inhale, straighten out the arms, straighten out the legs. 
look out. Look over at your right foot. And pick up your toes and turn them out. Begin to walk your hands in that direction, bending that knee side squat. Now you can keep your backside up in the air or you can get a little lower. Engagements up the straight leg. And we'll bring ourselves back to the center. Adjust the feet. Left toes turn out this time. Right toes are pointed that way. That's important. You'll need that in a minute. Side squat to the left. Wherever you want to go. You can get low. You can keep your butt high. You can even rest your arm up. And then from here, we're going to come to warrior two. So you're just going to stand up. So gently pushing off the ground with your hands. Stand yourself up. Reach your arms out. Forward and back. Sink into that front knee a little more and take one breath. Now flip your front palm. Drop your back hand. Reverse warrior. Begin to reach it up. Finding some stretch up the left side of the body. And gently begin to straighten out your front leg. Reaching up for the ceiling. Reverse triangle. Now from here, let's level off the arms. Let the hips shift back. Reach forward with your left hand like you're trying to flip off a light switch, and then let that hand float gently down to your leg. Your right hand will reach for the ceiling. You can look down at your foot, out to the side, or up at your hand, whatever works for your balance. We're not here long. And then we'll begin to bend this front knee, bringing it right out over top of the ankle, resting that front forearm down. Look up at your right hand and see if you can drift it back behind you opening up the front of that right shoulder. And then when you're ready, bring that hand down to the mat. Steady yourself as you lift up your back heel. Pivot on your foot so you can square your hips. Look left and revolve your lunge. Sweep your left arm out. Same thing, looking up at your hand, seeing if you can move it back to open up the shoulder. And we'll bring it on down. A little bounce in that back foot as we step or drag it to the top of the mat. Sitting the hips back and down, bringing the hands onto the knees, not moving the legs, instead pushing the upper body into chair pose. Reaching back, you can keep your hands here, or you can bring them to prayer in front of your chest. And slowly begin to straighten your legs. Drop your hands, sweep your arms up and overhead. Let's interlace the fingers, flip the palms up, take a breath in, and as you exhale, lean to your left. On the inhale, bring it back to the center. And on the exhale, lean to your right. Bring it back to center. Bring your hands down around behind you. Now interlace your fingers together or in, interlace them together or hook your index fingers together and bring your hands over to your right hip. Begin to drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Move your chin around a little. Find that neck stretch, that upper trapezius. Take a breath here. And then release and move the hands over to the other side, to the left, dropping the left ear towards the left shoulder. Always moving the chin around, see if there's a better spot. And float it back up to the top. Bring your hands to your backside and your imaginary back pockets and gently press your hips forward. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. Press your hips forward. This is great if you have sciatic issues. Draw your elbows gently together. And begin to lift the front ribs. Lift the center of the chest. Lift the chin, continue to press the hips forward, take a breath, standing camel pose. And then we'll release. Step the feet hip distance apart if they're not already. Turn the palms out. It's our reset. Mountain pose. Rock around in your feet. 
We're going to do all of that on the other side with a couple little changes just to keep it interesting. So here we go. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, reach up. Get as long as you can through the sides of your body. Look up and then press your palms together. Bend your knees and gently bring your hands down the center line all the way to the floor. With an inhale, halfway lift. Slide the hands up the fronts of the shins, flat in the back. And with the exhale, forward fold. And step the feet back to downward facing dog. And pause here as you push the ground away with your hands. You lift your tailbone, you drop your head. And then we'll lift the right leg up behind us. You can lift it any height that feels good. You can roll your ankle or maybe you'll bend your knee. And look under your right arm. And then square the hips back. Start to bring your knee in towards your chest. Hinge forward, coming shoulders over wrists. Then keep reaching with that knee. Look out beyond your mat. Pause in this little core. Work. And then slowly kick it back as you drop your head. Gently press into that left heel. And then swing the knee in. Step the foot to the ground. And spin your back foot flat. Try to take up most of the width of your mat here. It'll keep you more stable. Back foot should be comfortably turned out. Go ahead and stand up. Warrior two, gently swinging the arms forward and back. And swing them back, pause there, and with an inhale, reach up. Look up, sink into that front knee a little more, glue that back foot down, one breath only. And when you exhale, let your hands drift away from each other. Let your elbows bend, squeeze the shoulder blades together, open up the front of the chest. And then we'll bring it back up. And press the palms together, interlace the fingers, hook the thumbs, lift, 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 get lots of length in the side body, and then begin to hinge forward at the waist. Find your spot and pause. Engagement in the core here, and then we'll take that little twist. The left elbow is going to come down towards the front knee, going to look to the right, going to stretch the neck out long. Once again, engaging the core. Now slowly bring it back up. Keep your hands together as you bring them overhead and then move them back, 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 wherever you can. Pause here. And then release your hands. Bring them behind you. Just hook your index fingers together behind your back. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Put some weight in your back foot. Lift your face any place that feels okay for your neck. Relax your shoulders. Now lift your head. Begin to engage the rhomboid muscle right in between the shoulder blades. As you hinge forward, pressing the chest through the heads of the shoulders. And then pause. Bring your shoulders back up over your hips. Straighten out your front legs. Bring your hands to the fronts of your hips. Hold them in place as you hinge forward with a flat back, engaging the hamstring on the right leg. Gently walking the hands down the leg, keeping the face up so you can keep your back flat. And we'll give it just a little more time here. And you're ready to lift up. Look left, turn left, five point star, reach up there. Big breath in here. Now as you exhale, bring your hands down, sit your hips back. You can have your hands on your thighs again like we did before, or you can bring the hands to prayer in front of your chest. Sit the hips back, wiggle the toes, take one breath. Oh, and that's enough of that. Go ahead and straighten it on out with a gentle, soft inhale. Reach up. Keep the knees soft as you exhale. Float the hands to the ground. 
This time plant your left hand on the ground. Look to the right and sweep your right hand up, opening up. And with the exhale, bring it down. To the other side, inhale, sweep that left hand up. And on the exhale, bring it down. One more on each side. Inhale to the right. Exhale down. Inhale to the left. And exhale down. Look over at your left foot. Turn your toes out. Side squat left. Walk your hands to the left. Sink your hips in that direction. Option to lift up your toes and get in a little deeper this time. And then slowly bring it back through the center and over to the other side. Readjusting your feet, turning your right toes out, walking your hands over to the right, sinking down. Maybe lifting up those left toes. And if you lifted those toes, flatten out that foot. Check your knee. Make sure it's right over top of your ankles. A little press off helps as we stand up. We reach out into warrior two for a breath. And then flip your front palm. Drop your back hand. Reverse warrior, reaching up. And then straighten out your front leg. Reverse triangle. From here, we'll level off the arms, tip the hips back, reach forward a little more and drop that hand down. Reaching for the ceiling, triangle pose. And then bend this front knee. Rest the forearm down. Side angle. Look up at your left hand, see if you can move it back. Take a breath. With the exhale, bring that hand down to the ground. Lift up your back heel. Square your hips, look right, and with an inhale, revolve your lunge to the right. See if you can move that hand back. And then we'll bring it on down. A little bounce in that back foot as you step or drag it to the top. In chair pose, sit your hips back and down. Press your body off your legs. This time we'll reach out in front and take a breath. Slowly straighten your legs. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Grab opposite elbows. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lean left. And then bring it back to the center. As you exhale, lean to your right. And bring it back to the center. Release the hands. We're going to bring them behind us. You can either hook the index fingers together or interlace all fingers. Draw the shoulders up, back, down. Lift the center of the chest. And then bend your knees. And begin to fold yourself forward. Now you can leave your hands resting on your back. Or you can go further, bringing your belly down to your thighs, dropping your head and lifting your arms behind you. Slowly roll it back up. Rolling the shoulders back and down again. <sighs> Releasing the hands, turning the palms out. Mountain pose, swaying in the feet. Pausing to take it all in. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, dive it down. Walk your feet back to downward facing dog. And then begin to walk your hands back to your feet, bending your knees. Coming back here into this rag doll. And then dragging the hands up the fronts of the legs as you come up to standing. One final little challenge for today. I call it a wandering balance pose. So I'd start way back on your mat, even slightly behind it. 
and we're going to lift the left knee up in front of us. Now you may start out with your toe on the ground, or you can lift it up to here and hold on to it. One-legged mountain with the left leg. Wherever you are, look to your left, drop your left hand down, reach your right hand out from front, in front of you. Now you can have your toe on the ground. Option to swing that hand up behind you. Kind of imagine you're standing in a door frame sideways with one hand on each frame and your knee braced up against the right side. Now we're going to bring both hands out from the chest. Gently kick that foot up, step into it, shift your weight, drop your hands, and lift your back foot up into airplane. Any height that feels good. Your toe might be on the ground or it might be way up in the air. Now bend your back knee. One-legged mountain with the right knee forward. Reaching up overhead. Reaching out as you kick the foot out. Step into your foot. Sweep your arms back. Lift your back leg. Airplane. Let's drag it forward. Lift that left knee up. Reach up one-legged mountain. Kick the foot out. Step the foot down. Airplane. Now one more time, drag that knee forward. Come to one-legged mountain, maybe with your toe on the mat, maybe up. Drop your right hand down. Reach your left hand forward, look right. Option to sweep that arm up behind you. And pause here. Now we're going to go in reverse. Bring the hands out in front of you. Drop this right leg, sweep it back to airplane and pause. Drop your back foot, bend your front knee, shift the weight back, one-legged mountain with the left knee up. Reach it up and pause. And then into airplane with the left leg back. Drop the leg down, shift the weight back, lift the right knee up. One more. Sweep the right leg back, airplane. Step that foot down. Shift your weight. End up where you started. Left knee up, one-legged mountain. And step it down. Nice job. Nice little challenge to end our class. Sweep the arms up overhead. Inhale as you exhale, melt forward and down. Walk your hands forward. Come down onto your knees. Come to child's pose. Knees wide, toes to together. Lower down. Settle into any position that feels good. And just let it all sink in. You're welcome to stay here in child's pose. Or make your way onto your back. Take a few minutes in final relaxation. If you like child's pose, just stay there. If you prefer to come onto your back, please do so. Taking a second to rock your knees and stretch your legs out long. Rock your head. Lifting your chest and adjusting your shoulder blades. Dropping your arms out to the sides. Close your eyes. And just enjoy a moment of quiet and stillness.
and begin to deepen your breath. Letting the air out with a nice long sigh. <sighs> Wiggle fingers and toes. And start to make your way to a comfortable seated position. And you get here. And the shoulders a little roll. Interlace the fingers. Stretch the arms out long. Lower the chin. A breath in. Release the hands. <sighs> Bring them around behind you. Fingertips to the ground as you lift the chest. Lift the chin. Breath in. As you exhale, let it go. One more breath. We sweep the arms up and overhead, reach up, look up. Press those palms together and blow it out as you bring the hands on down. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.